Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. More on them later. What's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Over the past few weeks, I've had a lot of time to look through my YouTube comments and see what questions or, or problems or things you wish you had videos on. And there's one question or one comment that kept popping up saying, you can only make nice stuff because you have these pro-end tools, these high-end, high-quality tools. Let me see you make something with an inexpensive kit. And so, you know what? I'm accepting that challenge because when I first started Leathercraft, I did not own high-end, high-quality tools. I wanna show you today that with a $65 Leathercraft kit that I got from Amazon, by the way, I'm giving away this kit, this exact kit. I'm gonna repackage it and then ship it out. I'll let you know how you can win that at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you that with this inexpensive kit, that you can make nice things. I'm gonna be making a small wallet today right here on this table. This table is a table from a company called Fully. It's about a two foot by four foot table. And I can show you that in a small space with a really inexpensive leather craft kit, you can make really nice things. So let's get to the unboxing and let's have some fun. All right, let's do it. Okay. There's a whole bunch of tools in here that I will not be using, but they give you just an abundance of tools, which is, I mean, it's nice, but you're not gonna be using them all. First of all, they give you this piece of leather. It is leather, but it's probably split leather and it's embossed, uh, it's milled. It's not the nicest. What can you expect for $65? They give you some thread. You got a black, white, and a brown, and a rainbow thread. You get a Japanese style skiving knife. Uh, I mean, that's what we're gonna be using to cut today. You get a nice little scratch all, or you're gonna need to go around your patterns. You've got your punches here. Uh, for the wallet I'm making today, we're not gonna be using punches, but you've got a bag of different size punches here, which is great. Uh, you've got some nail filers if you wanna, you know, take a break from leather work and fix your nails. You're hilarious. Totally kidding, this is just used for sanding your edges. I'm not going to use this because I don't wanna waste it for you guys. I'm gonna use my own sandpaper. You get a little mallet, a little rubber mallet. That's gonna be used for your stitching chisels. I got this set because it had four millimeter stitching chisels and that's what I normally use for my leather goods. And that's what I was looking for when I bought this kit. It was based mostly around these stitching chisels because I wanted that four millimeter size and that's what I got. We got a punch pad, cutting mat. So we're gonna be cutting our design on here. So that's cool. We've got a slicker, a wood slicker that's gonna help burnish our edges. Again, not the highest quality, but it's a place to start. It's somewhere to start. We've got some daubers. If you wanted to dye your edges, we're not gonna be dyeing edges today. I'm gonna be using a veg tan leather where we can just use water which is free, and we've got a ruler. This kit does have everything, uh, bare essentials that you need to make stuff, but there might be a few things that you might wanna purchase as well, but they're very inexpensive. Um, you can get these online very, very cheap, these wing dividers. You can get a lower end edge beveler for like 10 bucks or something like that. So all in all, you're probably spending 100 to $130, but that is still very, very inexpensive to get results that are definitely usable. So also I pre-cut a pattern that I'm gonna be using to trace onto my piece of leather. So for the person who wins this kit, I'm gonna be sending along these pattern pieces and then also a piece of leather so you can try it yourself. So we're just going to trace out this pattern, put it on a place that fits nicely and just trace around it. Here we go. All right, so now we have our little pattern all traced out and ready to go. And so now we're just gonna cut. Before we continue, I wanted to talk about the sponsor that made this video possible. 
and that is Simply Safe. Guys, I am so thankful to all of you for watching and supporting this channel. Over the last year, Little King Goods has exploded onto the YouTube scene, and I was blessed to be able to build this studio where I can keep pumping out this content for you guys. As I was building this studio, I realized that I would definitely need some sort of security system to make sure that my studio was secure. I had the privilege of installing the Simply Safe system, and let me tell you, it is honestly super easy to install and incredibly effective, reliable, and intuitive. Simply Safe protects like a pro. They offer 24 seven professional monitoring with three and a half times faster police dispatch because their security specialists provide real eyewitness evidence to the police department, which results in faster dispatch times and more crimes stopped. Over 3 million people trust Simply Safe because it's the number one expert recommended home security system. Simply Safe protects your entire home and in my case, studio, inside and out. Their video doorbell and HD cameras alert you to anyone approaching your space and the smart locks and entry sensors guard the perimeter. Inside you have multiple sensors from glass breaking detectors to smoke and carbon monoxide detectors to even water damage and freezing detectors. One cool way that I'm using my freezing detector is by placing it near some of my materials like glue that will be ruined if the temperature in here gets too low. Every notification is sent to me via the Simply Safe app and lets me know exactly what is going on. I think the device that I'm most excited about is the new Simply Safe lock. This device makes your home more secure by ensuring that it's always locked. The majority of break-ins are people entering through unlocked entry points. The Simply Safe system is designed so you can make sure your door is locked even when you forget to lock it. You can have it set up to automatically lock on a timer as well as when you arm your system. You can also keep track of who comes in and out and grant access to your home to guests and visitors, whether you are home or halfway around the world. It's perfect for letting in family, contractors, dog walkers, you name it, to access your home. All this being said, Simply Safe has fair and honest pricing, which is only 50 cents per day with absolutely no contracts. Protecting your family and belongings is definitely something to consider. There are so many things these days to worry about. Why not take some of those things off the list and protect your home and loved ones with Simply Safe? To learn more about this system, visit simplysafe.com slash littlekinggoods or click the link in the description below. Okay guys, let's get back to it. Still gotta trace out this little flat piece. Okay. So the reason why I go with Pro Tools is simply the quality of the tool. Even just working with this knife for that one cut, it's really not as sharp and it doesn't cut through the leather as nicely as one of my higher end Japanese knives. That is one thing that you're paying for. You're paying for quality steel, you're paying for quality craftsmanship and the longevity of your tool. It's gonna last you a way longer time than any one of these tools will guaranteed 100%. This is a great way to get into leather craft and see if you like it and if you enjoy it. But in the long run, if you're gonna do this professionally, you're gonna want professional tools. So I normally cut down the long sides of the wallet, get all those straight cuts out of the way. And once those are done, you can move on to Yeah, this doesn't cut very nice. But you can see why you would use a higher quality tool because it just makes your job a lot easier. This is really slowing me down at the moment because I have to recut over things and you can tell right away that when you cut, it's just not as sharp. <laughs> you can't get as accurate as a cut because the sharper the knife, the easier it is, right? So, all right, I'll stop ranting about the knife. All right, that wasn't too bad. So we've got our pieces now all cut, ready to go. And now we have to glue them. So this is a tool kit. This is all the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need other things like glue. If you wanna finish your edges with anything else like token oil, you're gonna have to buy that separately. But for the most part, these are just the tools that you're gonna use. So let's go get some glue. I'm using this Aquilum 315. Um, District Leather sells it. It's been really good lately. It's a new product that I'm trying. So here we go. On this particular pattern, there is no trim allowance. So I don't have to cut off anything to make those edges flush. We're just going to sand.
There we go. There we go. And now I'm just gonna fix up anything that's kind of sticking out on these edges, make them a little bit more flush so that there's less to sand. Just make them nice and round. And now I'm gonna get some sandpaper and we're gonna sand the edges so that way they're nice and flush. So after they become nice and flush, these edges can be beveled. Like I said, there was no beveler in this tool kit, but you can buy it separately, very cheap off of Amazon. Any beveler will work. I've got a, a craft tool, one from Tandy Leather, and we're just gonna bevel the edges a little bit here. Just make them nice and round. Now we're gonna mark the stitch line with the wing divider. Again, you're gonna have to pay for this, but all in all, once you buy the entire kit, it will still be a very inexpensive kit. I will also link where you can get all of this stuff. And it's important that you have two kinds of chisels. One is a two tooth for going around the corners and one is a, what one is this? One, two, three, four, five, six tooth for going along straightaways. Um, so I'm just gonna be marking these corners or these little curved corners here. Now it's time to put the strap across. There we go. I'm using my own punch pad because I don't wanna ruin the one that came with the package so that the person who wins this will have a brand new punch pad. And we're all the way through in the back, which is good, okay? So the pricking irons that I use are the Cinebrox pricking irons and they are made very differently. The shape of them are very different and they're a lot easier to come out of the leather and they're made very precisely. So the teeth are very, uh, are spaced apart very precisely. So as you can see, I've got my stitching holes made, which is good. And now all we have to do is just stitch it up and then burnish the edges and we're done. So I'm just gonna cut off these excess flaps here. Make them line up really nice with the front part of the wallet. And there you go. So now we are going to be moving to the stitching part. So let's do it. So I mentioned earlier that you would need a stitching pony of some sort and I really advise getting one. Uh, they can be very expensive or they can be very inexpensive depending what you get. Again, what you pay for is what you get. So I actually made my own when I first started Leathercraft. Basically it is some plywood all jigged and rigged up together to make one with some hardware right here. I'm just gonna prove to you that you can make your own and still get good results. Okay. All right, we're coming to the end of the stitching portion. So I am just going to finish the stitch off by back stitching three times. Then after that, we will cut the thread, burn the thread, and then move on to the finishing of the edges. All right, now we're at the point where I'm gonna burn the threads. I don't know how this thread will Burn, tell you the truth, I've never used it before. Not too bad. Now we're just gonna hammer down the stitch. I stitched it with white so you could see the contrast better on the video, so. So yeah, the stitching is finished and now we're just gonna do the edge work and buff it all up. And then it'll be ready to put cards in it and go in your pocket. So let's get to the, uh, the edge finishing. All right, I'm just gonna use this wool dauber. I've got some water on there. And we're just gonna pat the water on there, on the edges. Let it soak in for a moment. So we're just going to start burnishing the edges. So there's multiple grooves in these wood slickers and you just 
pick one that fits best and you work your way around. And just keep in mind that what I'm doing right now is the bare minimum when it comes to leather craft. I just wanna show you that with the bare minimum, you can still make really nice things. Okay, now all that's left to do is just to fold this underneath that little flap. Push it down in there. Do a little fold with your hand here. And you've got a nice little flap wallet. I think it turned out pretty good considering the tools I used. Um, you can go back and reburnish things. All right. All right, folks, so here we have it. We have our wallet that we made today with that kit. So there's a few things that I wanna kinda just discuss and go over. That kit, it's very inexpensive. And if you're new to Leathercraft, it's good to start there because you don't know if you're gonna continue with Leathercraft and you don't know where it's gonna take you. So maybe buying a kit like that is good for you just to experience what Leathercraft is all about. But for the most part, I'm so used to my high quality tools that making this wallet was very frustrating. Maybe you didn't see it on camera, but it was very frustrating just because I'm so used to having tools that work well right away, super sharp, super high quality, super accurate with the stitches. But it was a good exercise and good practice for me to come back to where it all began. I used a kit like this for a very long time. With a kit like this, I think it's good because you'll kind of understand what tools you use the most and what tools are frustrating you and you can upgrade those tools. Things like scratch awls and wing dividers and tools that don't really matter, you don't have to put a lot of money into, but things like edge bevelers, pricking irons, knives, um, things of that nature, you're gonna wanna put your money into. If you guys wanna win this tool kit, please comment below why you wanna win this and what you were gonna use it for and how long you've been in Leathercraft. Another way for an entry to win this contest is to go to my Instagram and follow me at Little King Goods. Comment on the thumbnail picture of this video that I'm gonna be posting to my Instagram. And again, just tell me why you wanna win this kit, what you're gonna use it for, and how long you've been crafting. Included with this kit, I'm going to enclose a piece of leather where you can try two of these wallets. I'll give you enough leather to make two of these wallets. The downloadable PDF, and also the template that I've created uh, to make this, I'm gonna put it in the box as well. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, you know what to do, and we will see you very shortly in the next one. All right guys, stay safe and have a great day crafting. That's all for me, peace.